We're talking quadrilaterals, laterals. It's raining quadrilaterals. What's a quadrilateral? Hey, everybody. Does anybody know what a quadrilateral is? I'll share with you. It's a four-sided polygon. How many sides? Four. How many sides? Four. Quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. And some quadrilaterals have other special names, like parallelogram. That's so fun to say. I'm going to say it again. Parallelogram. What makes a parallelogram so special? It has something to do with its sides. It has two pairs of parallel sides. That's two pairs of parallel sides. Now, you've maybe met some of these parallelograms in your life, like squares and rhombuses and rectangles. Let's visit a little bit more about rectangles. What makes a rectangle so special? We know it's a parallelogram. We know it's a quadrilateral. So what's the big deal? It's about its angles. It has four right angles. Four right angles. A rectangle has four right angles. Now, we know that there's a special kind of rectangle called a square. And a square is special because not only does it have four right angles, not only is it a parallelogram and a quadrilateral, it has four congruent sides. Now, what happened to that rhombus? Rhombus is a parallelogram that has four congruent sides. Weird. Sounds kind of like a square, but it's not. Not unless it also has four congruent angles. So, all squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. And all squares are rhombuses, but not all rhombuses are squares. Some of you might be wondering, if all quadrilaterals are parallelograms. No, they're not. Some quadrilaterals are not parallelograms. And let's talk about one of those called a trapezoid. Another fun word to say, trapezoid. A trapezoid just has one pair of parallel sides, not two, so it's not a parallelogram. Now, there's other quadrilaterals in the world, and they may have special names, and maybe they don't, but we're not going to worry about the details. We're just going to call them the other quadrilaterals. Let's summarize what we've learned today. We've learned this big word, quadrilateral. We've learned that it is a four-sided polygon. We know that some of those are parallelograms, and some of those are not parallelograms. Of those parallelograms, some are rectangles and some are rhombuses and some are squares. Of the not a parallelogram, some are trapezoids and some are just another type of quadrilateral. Wow, you have learned a lot of big fancy words today. Let's give ourselves a round of applause.